hello, and welcome back to the first episode of Half-Life. Now, you may be wondering, Kyle, that's a weird way to do something, play the second game than the first. Well, we're, um, the way I see it, how we ended the the second game. Good morning, Oop. and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. Yeesh. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. That's nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to play this as if it were, like, Freeman remembering what happened to how he got there. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, I've never played the first Half Life, so I will. I guarantee I will not get all the secrets. I will not. I will not do things optimally. But you know what? Man. It's also a transit for like six people. Until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await oh, for construction. If it is necessary to fix the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station. Until assistance arrives. Sure, cool. Yeah, like I said, never, I've never played this game. It, I did not have a computer. I probably didn't have a computer when, by the time it came out. This is a relatively older game. And so, you'll notice that it's pretty dated, or it will be. Um, it's still a classic, it's still a good game. Um, well, until it kicks my ass, and then I will not praise it as much. But yeah, uh, got a, I've got a lineup of things I'm going to be doing for the channel lately. Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, kind of wanted to bring back some Half-Life. PhD, MIT, Theoretical the Physics. The Research Associate. Anomalous space. Materials Lab. Clearance level three. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Discretionary? Oh, that's that's terrible. Materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background that they carry as a theoretical physics. Well, that's good. Wow, I'm loving the freaking like the like yeah. You can tell the textures aren't so great, but or maybe this is just a very shitty tram. Who wouldn't want to be screened for? <gasps> it's him. You son of a bitch. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other I'll get you materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer. Okay. That's not how you deal with radiation. Your future depends on it. That's just terrible, man. Like, 
Why would you have a giant vat of radiation there? Oh, finally. It's been a, quite a trip, hasn't it, Gordon? Still, it's, I think it's, I believe it's Gordon's first. Stand back from the automated door and wait for wait. the security officer to verify your identity. I actually don't know if this is the first day. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive... Nope, not near. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, the tram takes 35 minutes. And the guards take eight minutes to put in a four-digit code, three, three-digit code. Excuse me. Come on, dude. If I'm late for work. Doesn't mean you get to lollygag. Come on. I'm sure, if I run fast enough, I can just I can just face through this this low poly door. <laughs> what, did you forget the password? Jeez. Like you got a question, like what the hell are they doing that they requires this much anomalous research materials? Yep. Yeah, I Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about twenty minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my file. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straight up. My oh, hey, God, what are you that. doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? I didn't even know what to push. I, th I thought that was a book. Is that not a book? Oh, that's a button. I I, I wasn't even anywhere near it. <gasps> Whoa. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Ah, Jesus Christ! A bunch of assholes. Hey, hey, Einstein, how you doing? Ah, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Ah, hello, Mike. Jeremy. No. Who the, who the fuck are you telling no? Me? Guys, <laughs> like that guy sounds like the mopiest person. Yeah. Did they get like like the world's worst voice actors for this game? I'm gonna tweak your nipple. You haven't done anything. You were sitting there going, no, at me. Oh, what the hell? There's two of you. My God, we're dealing with clones here. <gasps> don't, 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 no, don't, don't talk to him. Don't, don't trust him. God damn it. I didn't do it. My God, what are you doing? Fantastic to get some pure readings for a change. No, because I would I would break equal E E equals M C squared, that's it. Like that's and as low as res as possible. This is even. This isn't even a degree. This is. What is this? Is it written in crayon. Are you running those tunneling lattice calculations again? I really don't know. What? What? How? How do you not know what you're running? All right. Well, fuck you guys. Hey, Bernie. Can we do this later? Okay. Oh, okay, sure. I totally do that. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Okay, gotcha. Like I said, I've a little pissy. Are we? It's stopping over here. I wonder if I should run that. Well, it works for me. I mean, you can have this out if you want. How do I grab it? <gasps> do I have to walk into it? My soda. 
There, if the soda works, I got it for you. Most of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Hello. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Are you the same person? Cause you move fast. Also, be careful with that book. It's actually a button. So. Ah, fuck you, bitches. Gordon out. Where the? Gordon, I'm sorry. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Weren't you supposed to shut up? Hello there. Uh, yep. Got a problem there? Uh, Footloose. <laughs> As I expected. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I got exposed to orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Do you got a point where the fuck my hazard suit is? Okay, that's the kitchen. Okay. Bachman, Lauer, Steli, Laud, Laid. Hey, can I break this? it's good to why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Stop being a weenie. I hope those continued parameters are still nominal. Casali, Coomer, Birdwell, Jones, Guthrie. Riller, Teasley. Yeah, this all looks nominal. Wait, who are you talking to? Like, what looks nominal? Well, we're not running lab results in here. Johnson, Freeman. All right. I have to walk into him. Oh, okay, cool. Where the fuck's my hazmat suit? Okay, here. Wait, I never knew Freeman had a kid. Are you or? <gasps> I never knew Freeman had a kid. Oh my god! Some pretty gnarly music playing. Oh, I don't do the retinal scan. They do, which is weird because I'm the scientist. Black Mesa, lovely. Uh, yes. Same three guys, lovely. Black Mesa, top side temperature is 93 degrees. Hey, she says this this beeping makes it sound like I'm being denied access or something. Well, then again, it is an older game, so I won't complain. Well, I mean, it can, but I'll try not to. <sighs> Excuse me. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Sorry. What's up here, though? Uh, it's the way back, I suppose. That's that's always good having an emergency ladder in an elevator shaft. I make it a little more flim, like you know, make it a little more flimsy, so it's even more terrifying. Yes, hello, hello. Oh, that's it. All right, cool, fine, whatever. It jerks. Control room, test lab access, plasma cells, ionization chambers. All right, cool. Screw you guys. I'm in, I'm in a freaking suit. Hello. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Can you? Oh. Oh. Speed run, go. Actually, no. A speed runner would be, would be done by now. Hello, Gordon. Ah, Freeman. Gordon, it's good there to see you. Let's talk. Sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Oh, Breen? They went to some length to get it. Okay, but like, how do you have an anti-mass, an anti-matter spectrometer? How do you measure antimatter? Access denied. 
Why do I have? Why don't I have access to this? This is poppycock. I am just as much a scientist as you are, except I'm like a third of your age. The fuck? What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. And why are you doing it? It's like I'm trying trying to cut a cut cut a log with a toothbrush. That's not the equipment you have. You fools who've damned us all. Uh, well, I admit this isn't um, the most engaging first episode. Uh, I'm loving the commentary from me because I, I found that I'm really good with situational comedy. Excuse me? Yes, but with good reason. Is this the dude from CSI? Uh, yeah, CSI, uh, well, Law and Order SVU. First off, you guys have the same clothes on. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, well fucking better. Also, the the, the, the the mere the mere mention of cascade effect is going to cause a cascade effect. Oh, this is uh Oh, don't fall into the death hole. That'd be lovely. Alright, well I'm gonna end this here as we stare at what looks like a doomsday device, which we know from Half Life 2 is a doomsday device. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna stop it here for now. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching this first episode. We're getting right back into the swing of things. If by right back we mean back in time to the first Half Life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.